morning, 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 everybody. How y'all feeling on this fine Wednesday? We here, we back. Let's get into it. Y'all don't even understand. I'm after some of y'all seen the pictures this week. That's right. I got to meet Eric Thomas this week. Amazing. Like, you know, that's my personal role model. He helped me through some hard times in my life a couple of years ago, pretty much to help me get to where we are right now, along with the wonderful support of my wife. Right? So the weekend was amazing. It was a blessing. It was ordained by God for me to be there. I had to be there just to feel what greatness feels like to have the energy and everything that he has and what he does imparted in me. And let me tell you real quick, while we're there, 30 minutes left on the talk, he prays for everybody at the end, right? The lady sitting next to me came late. She only had about 40 minutes to hear anything. He get up, he asks everybody to come to the stage so that he can pray for everybody, right? He asked for people that that that's stuck in a rut, don't know where they're going, don't know what to do, that's just down and out. To come up to the stage, but that's not me, because oh, for y'all do know, I did quit my job on Friday to do what I'm doing, right? I did do that, like so. I told you, either fearful or fearless, sit at the top of the cliff or leap and grow your wings down. I leap, I'm walking in it, and God is blessing me for it, right? This lady taps me on my shoulder and grabs my hand and said, "God told me to take you up to that stage." We go up to that stage. Shake Eric Thomas' hand. We get up top, and he begins to pray. We pray, and I'm looking up. And as I'm looking up, got my eyes closed, right? That stage light didn't seem like stage light no more. It was like literally I was in the presence of God and feeling all the energy and power and everything that was going on. And it, that, that light felt like sunlight down on me. It was amazing. Like, I couldn't believe it. And, y'all, let me tell you. God gave me a vision that I would be standing on a stage in front of an audience, speaking to hundreds of people, wearing dark color type clothes, right? I opened my eyes, and I didn't even realize it, but I was front and center on that stage, okay? It's about 30 people up there with me. The little lady that brought me up there right next to me, everybody else is standing behind. It's like a bowl of pins, and I was the first pin. And I'm on, I'm on stage in this position just like this. Just, just taking it in. And I look out and I'm like, oh my God, this is the vision you gave me year, a year ago. This is what you showed me right here. But just because I'm in the place right now of actually physically realizing that vision, that doesn't mean I stop. That's just the beginning. And what I believe God was doing was he was showing me where I will be. Like This is what it looks like. This is what it will be when you're up here and you're the one talking. You're the one imparting in people's lives. It was a blessing. And of course, I had to break down to the lady while she really took me up there. You ain't taking me up there because I'm in a rut. You took me in there because I needed, just like Mary just needed to touch, touch Jesus and get some of that, I just needed to shake hands with Eric Thomas just because he's truly a man of God, just to shake his hand, just for him to impart in me what that is that he has because he operates in, him, in the gift that God gave him. And now, and look what he's at. He, he, millionaire status, sitting down with people like Warren Buffett and, 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 and top CEOs and owners of NFL and NBA teams and all stuff like that, like it, you, it can be done it can be done but you have to like my favorite book says, you know, um, be faithful over a few and I will put you in charge of many things I learned this weekend that the gift that God gave me, I have to value it and value my life on a whole nother level now. I have to give my gift the respect that it deserves by in, like just by doing the videos every week or, or answering an email that somebody may send me or answer a question that somebody may have to me. I'm being faithful over a few. That's why I, I work to do all the small things very well. So that when there's time, I'll be my gift will open up doors for me to do things that I never thought I would be able to do. You know, and this is where you have to be focused. Okay, I told y'all about this before. Don't be having too many minds. Be focused. You got to be laser focused. See, the thing is, we too busy trying to figure out. You know, it, and it's okay to try to figure out what it is that your, your purpose is, especially when you don't know. Because I know I was seeking for a long time before I found mine. 
the thing is, once you find it, all the rest of that stuff needs to be pushed back and focus on what your gift is. Because once you focus on your gift and you start operating in your gift and you have faith about what it is, what your gift is in the direction that it's taking, you, let God continue to lead you. I look, I don't mean, I don't want to offend anybody that's watching. If you don't believe in God, but that's why I'm at. Whoever you believe in or whoever you pray to, it's just the same concept. You gotta have faith in your abilities and believe in yourself and you operate in your gifts and your talents and you put that hard work in, right? Doors gonna start opening. Doors have already started opening for me, you know. It's not phone calls, emails, anything that people want me to talk and just speak. They just want me to say something. Just put a quote up, just do something. Like, that's amazing to me. That's a blessing for me, right? So, I'm being faithful over a few. The little, the, the small things that I'm blessed with, man, I'm making sure I cherish them, and I take care of them, and I do what I have to do for them. You see, like I learned this weekend, the value of my gift goes so far as that it's through my gift that I save the lives of my family. Y'all missing that, y'all missing that. It's through my gift that I save the lives of my family. What am I saying? I value my gift so much and all the potential that it holds that as it takes me into new realms, as it sits me among tables with kings, as it begins to open up my doors, the new doors for me, I'll be blessed with different financial freedoms, or I'll be able to take care of my family in ways that I never could imagine that I would be able to do. But it started with one choice. A few choices, but all surrounded by one thing, and that is, first, to accept the vision that God gave me and begin preparing for it, and that's what I did, preparation. They say luck is when preparation meets opportunity. I believe there's some things in between there. First of all, I believe in luck. I see luck as blessings. So let's say Blessings are when preparation meets opportunity, along with a strong will, hard work, determination, and that preparation, right? Um, I made the choice to chase my vision, to chase those dreams and my goals. I prepared for it. August came, I started dropping video after video after video, and I stayed faithful and consistent to it, and I'm going to continue to do so because I learned it. Like I said, my gift, it saves lives. It, if I don't do what I do, somebody could miss something, right? Like, it, it's so serious. I, I, I'm such a servant now that I understand what it means to do what I do now. Somebody's life depends on it. Somebody's day depends on it. Somebody's minute depends on a simple word that I have. And, and, and it can change everything for them, right? So... Being faithful to what I do, you know, doors are starting to open. God is putting me in the presence of people I never thought. I didn't think that I would meet Aaron Thomas anytime soon in the order room. Like I thought I would have to find a conference, but I don't care if nobody said I believe that man came in just so that I could shake his hand, give him a hug, he prayed for me, and then now I'm at me going. He had to impart something in me. It was meant for him to come to the city just so I just so that could be done, right? Um, I got an example for you of being focused on your talents and your gifts. And, and this is the greatest example you could ever use, Michael Jordan. He tried different things. He was easily the worst best, uh, not, excuse me, worst baseball player ever. He's a terrible coach, and he coached one of the worst teams in the NBA, right? Eric Thomas put that in perspective for us this weekend. But what can he do? That man can ball. And because he can ball the way that he can, and he, he, he work, 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 look at the doors that open for him. Nobody will ever forget Jordan. Even kids don't even know who he is, will never forget him. He got his shoes being remade time and time again. He did a movie. He did a kid movie. Everybody going to watch Space Jam, right? These are things. He was faithful to his gifts. He put the hard work in, and look what he has in the billionaire doors that opened up for him. He didn't try to stay in your lane. You're trying to open up 10 businesses, but the, all 10 businesses is different things. It's not going to work for you. If it, if it does work for you, it, you're gonna, it's going to be rough, right? 
So it's going to be hard and it's going to be stressful. Like when I when I make millionaire billionaire status, I don't want it to be stressful for me. If it's stressful for me, then something's out of line. And I'm right now, I'm in the middle of getting violence all across the board. Right? Check the shit. I'm gonna end with this. Everybody wants to be a beast. Got line on the front until it's time to do what beasts do. Right? Right now, I'm in beast mode. Right now, I got to get it. Right now, I'm, 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 I'm putting in that work. I'm doing what I got to do. But the back of the shirt says, until it's time to do what beasts do. Now, see, some people uh, have a problem with doing what beasts do. And y'all might think of, you know, just the hunting and things like that. But I look at what I have in my walk in life, just like a lion. And whether he's hunting or about to be in a battle, he has to see his prey, right? Laser focus. Don't nothing else matter. And then it's the chase. Whew, he's gone, right? And then me going after my vision, that's me hunting down my prey. That's my chase. And along the way, that 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 it's going to duck and dodge and move and turn and turn. And I'm not saying my vision is running from me, but I'm saying along the way, it's going to be some speed bumps. It's going to be some turns. I have to work for that. I got to work for that meal. I got to work for that vision. I got to put the work in. I got to Hard work, hard work, hard work. I got to put it in to catch it. But, old oh, but, once I get a hold of it, once I jump on that thing's back, once I really get there, because right now I'm in chase mode. Right now I'm going to chase mode. Every now and then, I might catch it a little bit. Every now and then, I might slap on it a little bit. Every now and then, I might get a little bite up. But when I get there, when I truly get there, my family going to eat better. The people around me going to eat better. My community is going to prosper even more. People's lives will be blessed. People's lives will be touched. That's the value of my gift. That's the value of me being, staying faithful to the small things that I have. And God going to bless me with many things to be in charge of. So I'm going to end with this. I want you to be focused on finding your gift. And when you find your gift, when you realize what it is, operate in that gift. I said, right, I, I put my job to do what I'm doing, and I believe that God is honoring every decision that I make because I'm following his steps, and I'm trusting him to do what I need to do, to become what I want to become, to, to be this person that I never thought that I would ever become. But like I said before, to do to be what I want to be, I got to do things that I've never done. And, and I got to tell you, I'm in the most... I'm in the happiest place of my life right now. Leaving that job is the best thing I'm doing. I'm starting to get balance back in my, um, in my family, uh, back in myself, back in my, I'm able, I was able to work out again. You know, <clears throat> it's all falling into place. That's what I'm, what's called is holistic success. When you're successful in your, your, your relationships, your family, your, your, your wellness, your, um, you know, your business, if you got a business, this right here is my business. And I'm, 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 I'm extremely happy about it, and I'm blessed by it, and God is honoring me by doing so. So once again, you know, stay faithful to what it is that you're doing. Uh, yeah, focus on one thing. Figure out what your talent and your gift is, and go in. Like, don't don't try to do a thousand different things, and have it where you know you're scattered and you're spread out and you're stressed out. If you focus on that one gift that God gave you, you know that that's, that's what God had for you, it, it's easy. Like, doors open on their own. You attract blessings, right? But you got to do your part. You got to keep putting the preparation in. You got to, you know, whether that's reading, studying, whatever the case may be, you got to show, you know, faith without works. You got to do your part, right? So, with that being said, I hope this is a blessing to y'all today. Um, enjoy y'all day. Um, that my struggles of yesterday can be your push for today. I said my own line wrong. <laughs> I'm glad my struggles of yesterday could be. Let's just kill all that. Like I'm just on cloud nine right now. I'm happy. I'm I'm, I'm blessed. Like it's, I, I was I was praising God, just crying. So anyway, y'all have a blessed day. I hope I was a breath of fresh air for y'all. Enjoy this midweek medicine. Look me up if you don't know who I am. Gail Brown, your motivational speaker, your inspirer, your transformational coach, and we're going to get there, right? Y'all have a good day.